Oh, yeah, Ooh. Tony Robertson gets clipped there. I love this God. crowbar. Tony eats crow and platform. You can tell it hurt. Look at the other contestants' reaction. Whoa. Wait, wait, where have I seen that look from below the belt, John Kurt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the sucker punch. Well, that leaves nine contestants standing to battle it out with our crows. You killed a bird! Apparently, Krista Witorski, not a member of the Audubon Society, but she's the first contestant to strike back at those birds. Yeah, if you love a crow, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it's dead. John, do you know that the crow is an omen of revenge in Greek mythology? Oh, well, in that case, they just got the revenge on Krista. Well, you know what they say. Revenge is a dish best served crow. And with the crow's revenge, we only need two more people to wipe out before we get to our final six. Oh. There goes Yolanda Azil, and oh. she's still clinging oh. to that pole as the crows circle like vultures. Or crows. She's going to have to get herself back up now. Oh. Got to get on that platform so she can jump over the bar. Her day's oh, over. And she can do it, and that means she's out. Now we only need one more person to wipe out before we get to that final six. Oh, last girl. I got my technique down. Okay. Our animal lover, Jessica Bertoni, might have her technique down, but she's not in the clear yet. Oh, and there goes the lone specialist, Tyler Jorgensen. So the horn sounds to begin our bonus round. The final six contestants battling it out for $1,000. Why the crowbar gets higher and faster. I don't think I can do this technique for much longer. And animal lover, Jessica Bertoni, goes down. Her technique was to step through the hole left by the freed bird to avoid hitting the other crows. An animal lover after my own heart? Yeah, well, her love of animals leaves us now with just five contestants left to wipe out. Oh, it is going down right now. Fashion designer Timothy Tan with some tough words. Oh. Ooh, the black crows with a formal request for Tuxedo Tim to leave. That means only three more contestants need to wipe out now to get to our sweeper winner. Oh, the belt, John Curtis is going for a ride. And preschool teacher Charles as well. Low blow, John Curtis learns that what happens on the sweeper swells up after the sweeper. Preschool teacher, Mr. Charles, definitely not in charge of his motor skills after that hit. And we're down to our final two contestants. It's you and me, brother. Let's do this. B-boy Chris Quinone and our geek Robert Duff, who will beat the Crows and their opponent for that $1,000 bonus. <laughs> Yeah, Chris, I'd stop dancing if I were you. No, seriously, Chris. Watch out! Chris Kenyon is down, which puts a thousand bucks into our yeah. geek Robert Duff's pocket oh. protector. Although he'll probably have to move that slide rule. Uh, no, 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 Robert, you shouldn't be dancing oh, either. Shoot. Uh.